So today, we're going to talk about fishing. If you want to start fishing, you need to go to the tavern, look over here, see the dock, and just go that way. You have to be at least level 10. And you talk to the seafarer guy, and he'll give you a quest to talk to this lady over here. You do that, you get the fishing ability and a free rod. So let's equip the rod. Now, there's a bunch of different rods. One's for different levels, and some are store-bought and some are quest line. Store-bought ones will have fishing power and the skill, and quest ones will have concentration too. They also have different levels of the reel-in skill. And for higher levels at least, you get a store rod every 20 levels and a quest rod every 20 levels. And they alternate, so it'll be like 160, 170, you know what I mean. Well, let's equip the rod. But, there's a problem we have to talk about. There's this weird glitch that if you're targeting an NPC, you can't equip the rod. So just target off of them and put it on. Now all rods have the same attack speed. Haste won't help you. Can't use a battle mount with it or anything. The real in skill is basically an instant cast attack. It's good, so you want to use it. We look at our stats here, fishing level. Now, fishing itself, the best way to explain it is as a very simplified form of combat. Fishing is basically your attack, your chance to hit. Because there's sometimes you can reel in and it won't work. So you want to max it out if you can. Fishing power is like damage. And concentration is like your health. Now if you want to fish you have to have a rod equipped and you click on water. That's the fish's health. That's your health. This is your auto attack button. And that's your instant attack button. Now there's different types of water. This is gold water, or shimmering water, whatever you want to call it. But you'll get a special fish from it, and it's worth money. And that could be from hundreds of gold to thousands of gold, depending on what level you're fishing at. There's also green water, which is wise water, and it'll give you 10 times the XP of a normal fish. Now you can use XP elixirs when you're fishing, so that could be 40 times or 50 times the amount. But Scholar doesn't work for fishing, so you're not that lucky. And these are just the normal waters. And you'll get different animations depending on what you catch. If it's an item, a big fish, or a ring, you'll get that like heavy pullback animation, but if it's just a normal fish... You'll get the standard reel in one, like that. So it's a good way of telling. Also, if you have the chat menu up and you catch a fish, it'll show you much earlier. So if you're really waiting for the stuff to pop up, good idea to keep the chat box open. We'll go over here for some more testing. So when you find a spot, because there's a few around, you want to stand in a spot where you can reach all of the fish you can, or at least most of them. Because after you catch a fish, look at this, there's a lot of end lag, I can't move, right? But since that's an animation, what we can do is animation cancel out of it. And just take the fish and go. But ideally you don't want to do that. Because there's a far more efficient way. If you start attacking fish. Just click on the next one and keep going. Animation cancelling isn't really going to help you out much. It's actually going to hurt. Because you're wasting more time to do that. When you can just catch a fish. Also. There's some times where fishing glitches out. And there's fish that you can't catch like this one. So you just 
you just stop fishing because that just eats away your concentration and you don't want that you'll know if you can't hurt the fish for a while don't confuse that for missing though and when you do use this reel in skill you want to use it immediately after damage is dealt just like my auto attack video because that helps out a lot for DPS there's also a bear pet you can get for fishing and I don't have it but it gives fishing power and concentration and it gives you a swipe skill that does about the damage of an auto instantly so it's nice to have for that but it costs so much because you need five fishing relics which are rare and people in most worlds sell them for a ton of money so personally I think it's better just to take the the relic drops and just sell them off for cash then buy more worthwhile things because when you're fishing you can get certain rings you can get scholar rings treasure hunter rings critical strike and critical skill ability rings but as shown with our critical test video those rings aren't that good then there's also rings for fishing you got concentration rings and fishing power rings now as I explained before having more health than you need is just harmful it's not really going to help you and the same applies for fishing you don't need concentration especially when you have items that restore it it's just a complete waste so even if you can find a godly concentration ring just sell it not worth owning now fishing power rings whole nother story it's actually probably a good idea to buy a good one if it's not too much money and just use that and then if you get extra beyond four you can sell those off for money too so yeah moral of the story only fishing power rings are good if you want to get XP there's usually repeatable quest guys around like this guy fishing quests and there you go there's daily quests too like this one and you get fishing bags from them and the fishing bags can have different things kind of like a sunken chest I guess and you might be able to get fashion tokens I don't know but you can get fashion tokens from actually fishing unlike cooking you bring them to this guy and he'll give you different stuff every 40 levels as you level up it'll cost more money for the higher ones what else what else oh yeah some other things I want to cover so when you go into fishing you see that there's different concentration potions higher level ones will be more effective but they cost a lot of money and it's not really worth buying all these potions because you're gonna burn through so much money real quick it's just ineffective then there's these super rare ones from lock boxes and by the way let's open our lock box they're usually pretty bad you usually only get like a hundred gold or a non-tradable elixir but sometimes you can get a small amount of platinum or I've heard stories of people getting mountain pet tokens so we'll see got a concentration potion not bad not good usually I just take the lock boxes and sell them off for like a grand each and people will buy them real quick I suggest you do the same there's also clams and they give you different pearls worth different amounts of money you can get enchanted pearls which you can use to make a fishing ring and the ring is decent I don't really like it though because it only caps out at 15 power but the thing about potions being ineffective I'll show you what I suggest instead you go to cooking and you want to make these because not only will you get more fishing power but you'll regen your concentration over time and that adds up to be way more than a potion can do high level ones are actually pretty effective I think I have it in here yeah 
15 power, 40 concentration. The only thing I want to warn you about is that the really high level versions use saffron, which costs 800 gold each. So you want to ride on the other world version for as long as you can. So I covered the basics of fishing. And um, I'll show you all the different spots you can fish. So 1 to 20, you got that here. You got like 20 to uh, 28 here, 30 to 44, there's secret spots in Heroes Landing that's about 40, then you go to Shalemont, and it goes from about 45 and then goes around this way all the way up to about the 70s, then you go into Stonevale, you got some 80, 90 fish here, and you got some hundreds around there. I mean, this is from memory, so I might be a tiny bit off, but it's pretty accurate for the most part. Fingal's Cave, you got like 110s, and you go down this way. Got some 130 fish here. Then you go to the other world, got some 150s. There's also some in the sewers here, but they're really far spread out for about 150 and it's not worth fishing there because you have to run back and forth. Just don't do it, avoid it. Then you gotta go to the murky vaults and here's like 170 to 180 I think. And then the last place is Caramore. Got your 180 fish. There's also some 185 fish over here I think and also down here I'm only 165 so I haven't reached that part but I felt that would be a good idea to make a video anyway because I could teach you all the basics you need to know about fishing so that's all for this episode if you got any specific questions about fishing feel free to ask and if you want me to do another guide you can ask me about that too so, hope I helped you out.